I got a ton of questions, like actually quite an insane amount and insane that I haven't made a video on this already, but how do you integrate the Archeria Key Lab Essential with Studio One? This should work with any MIDI keyboard with Studio One. I'm just demonstrating it with the Archeria Key Lab, which you can't see, but it is there. So inside of Studio One, you want to click Command, Comma to pull up Preferences, or you just go to Studio One and Preferences. Then you're going to go to External Devices. Then you're going to click Add. And so this is, I think, where most people get tripped up. Maybe you think it's an instrument or a control surface, but it's a keyboard. So you're going to have to type these out. So, you know, Algeria, and then Keylab Essential. And then you just want to go Receive From, and then find Keylab 61 MK3 MIDI, which is already in use. And then Send to the same as well. I would probably do default instrument for this instrument. I don't ever touch these other things. And then just click OK. And then when you create a MIDI channel, just make sure the in is the key lab essential. If it's the default, that should naturally happen. The only thing that might dictate how effective this is, is some keyboards have drivers and software if you're using archeria you need to go to the archeria software center and download their midi uh control center it's, yeah it's called the midi control center i think you need that for the archeria key lab so just download that and then when you connect it it should all just kind of integrate you might need to download like a, a firmware update or something but pretty straightforward as you can see on mine i've got the after touch on but yeah, it's just the midi default instrument works a charm and this will work with any MIDI instrument, as I said. So I've got my fader port with PreSonus, uh, a MIDI clock, just a random like USB MIDI. So pretty easy to do. It's just the thing that kind of gets people is whether it's an instrument or a keyboard. New instrument is if you have like a synthesizer that you can connect via USB or MIDI, where it's actually an instrument that you might want to control but it's not like a direct MIDI signal, just a keyboard, um, just a MIDI controller kind of thing, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. If you wanna support me, the easiest way to do that is to go stream my instrumental music. I've got about 130 songs released. It's kind of lo-fi in that sort of vein. It's all copyright free if you're a streamer or a YouTuber, but it's also just really good to chill and study too. I'm trying to hit a million monthly streams. So that's the goal at the moment. A lot of the videos that you see on this channel are me making songs, uh, you know, aside from these kind of videos. So if you wanna go support me, go check that out, go share it with your mates. I'll appreciate that a ton. If you use Studio One, which I'm assuming you do, I've got some free presets and a free course on producing in Studio One linked below. So go check that out. It's all free. And yeah, I'll catch you next video. Bye.